I was driving on an almost deserted street in southeast Minneapolis in the early afternoon on October 30th, 1976, when there appeared before me four gigantic red streamer-like things swaying above four smokestacks. I pulled over and watched them for a moment. They seemed suspended in midair. I found out later they were balloons created by artist Otto Pina for the Walker Art Center. Now I have read that vandals destroyed three of them. How sad. Pina can take pride in knowing he brought this observer much joy for a few brief moments. Robin Lang, Minneapolis, Minnesota. October 22, 1976, for immediate release. The public is invited to observe the installation of an outdoor inflatable sculpture beginning at 9 a.m. on Saturday, October 30th. Titled Black Stacks Helium Sculpture, this environmental work was created by artist Otto Pina and commissioned by the Walker Art Center in conjunction with the exhibition The River, Images of the Mississippi. Art basically uses two kinds of scale, intimate and monumental. More attention should be paid to monumental scale, sky scale, in times when mankind proliferates and space expands, and everybody realizes how big the cosmos is. Otto Pina. I feel really saddened to learn of the damage done to the river sculpture attached to the NSP smokestacks. I discovered I was able to see them from my apartment window, and it was just a delight for me to watch the changing, joyful, graceful movements. I hope the person responsible can be held accountable, and I feel sad and angry that they were not able to find pleasure in such a delightful piece of sculpture. Dear Otto, it's just possible that having your spectacular work shot down may have hastened its immortalization process. We have been receiving sympathy cards and letters have appeared on the editorial pages concerning its beauty and decrying the vandalism that brought its early demise. Makes the whole thing quite wistful. Martin Friedman, Walker Art Center Director. <laughs>